Okay, everybody, we got a little update for the Mavic Air 2. You know, it's that up, it's that time again. Update, update time. It is uh, update uh, V01.00.0250. So that's going to be the update. And I know it's coming. That's because I see it. <laughs> On all the all these YouTube channels, <laughs> that all these Facebook posts. So I haven't turned this on, so I know it's coming. So we're gonna let it warm up here for a sec. It says right there, new Mavic Air firmware available, 178 megs. Go to the update. Now it's gonna download it, as you can see there. It is doing that right there. Now I'm not going to read off all of the stuff because it was a pretty substantial update from what I was uh, looking at it. But I will put the notes right in there in the description for you to uh, look them over. Okay, so we restarted there at about six minute mark okay so it restarted and still installing the firmware so it's probably updating the controller now that's usually that's usually how the Anafi does it it'll un update the, the quadcopter first restart it and then it'll go and do the it put it'll push the firmware up to the controller that's usually how it works with the Anafi so yeah, the lights on the controller are freaking out, so that's probably what it did. Okay, it said it's installed. Okay. So I'm going to shut it down. Okay, so that's all shut down. Then we're going to restart it. Okay, so it's synced up already. Hit the go fly button. There we go. Looking good. Okay, the motor's armed up, no problem. Okay, so let's take it out and fly it. We are out here with the Mavic Air 2. So let's take off from it. Now it is a little bit on the windy side here. I'm gonna I always actually wanted to measure this park. Last time I was here, I didn't fly all the way down there because there was kids down there playing soccer. <laughs> so this way I'll be able to measure the park after I get a hit off my vape. This is the Monroeville Community Park. Let's see here. Okay, so we'll just kick it out here a little way. Okay. Get up there above them trees, so... 
that's looking like a thousand nine hundred and what nine hundred and twenty seven feet yeah nine hundred and twenty seven feet which I get a lot more flight room out of that other park See, I always assumed that that was a lot further than it is. I always thought that was like 1,500 or something, but I guess not. I guess that soccer field ain't as big as I thought it was. There she be right there. Okay, so we'll bring her down some. Yeah, this park is nowhere near as big as I thought. I thought it was way bigger than this. <laughs> Shazam! Wrong again. <laughs> Spent my whole life being wrong. Okay, I must. Why well, stop now, right? <laughs> okay, so. All right, guys, so I'm not seeing any issue here. I didn't want to make a big project out of this. I just wanted to go up there and fly it out and fly it back and. that obstacle avoidance is going off I guess it's seeing that fence right there let me come up a little bit with it Let me cut that video.
at least we can put a little asteroid shot in there at the end or at the beginning as like the intro of the video Okay. Okay, so that works.
This thing reminds me so much of the Mavic Pro, the way it flies. Man. So much of like the Mavic Pro, man. So much. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. We're going to land it up and be gone. I need to turn off that damn obstacle avoidance. I think that's bad. Look at that. It's a, it's sliding off the edge a little bit, but I still I still managed to do it. Now listen, Marcus, that's what you call precision landing right there. Okay. Not that hitting the return to home. That's dropping that sucker right on that little case. That's precision landing right there. My brother. Alright guys, I'll talk to you later. Have a nice day.